Three weeks ago today, a powerful derecho struck eastern Iowa. These are typically once a decade types of storms, but the event on August 10th was the strongest to have known to ever hit the state of Iowa. I spoke to those caught out in the storm and those helping to warn the public to see why the storm was such a challenge and what is being done down the road to help warn with the warning process in this Iowa's News Now special report. It did not seem like it was going to be that severe until it came pretty much out of nowhere. This is insane. Powerful wind gusts up to 140 miles per hour struck eastern Iowa on August 10th. The path of destruction was more than 40 miles wide, leveling barns, toppling power lines, and destroying crops. The storm hit the Johnson's farm head on, destroying a building, trapping Cody Johnson inside. This is the second time a derecho destroyed property on the Johnson farm in a decade. While warnings were in place, the exact magnitude of the storm was lost in the warning process. A derecho warning or would be something I think maybe they could come up with now or I mean those things don't seem to mess around it's kind of like a tornado you know it's the word that gets your attention. Part of the communication failure was the lack of severe weather forecast a day or two ahead of time. Derechos are notoriously difficult to forecast unlike tornado outbreaks which tend to have several days of notice. You know, we're working hard with a lot of folks to try to improve that predictability. Bill Bunting is the chief of forecast operations at the Storm Prediction Center. While early in the morning, the threat for severe weather for much of eastern Iowa was low, the Storm Prediction Center quickly ramped up the messaging and threat level. Derechos rarely offer that kind of heads up or, or forecast skill. Um, you know, I, I've seen a couple that have given us maybe 24 hours heads up that the potential was there, but in most cases, it's not until very early on in the development stages that we know uh, what we're in for. And this is coming right towards Cedar Rapids. So Cedar Rapids, we've been telling you, you need to take these storms very, very seriously. The speed with which the entire community responded, uh, you know, both on the media side and the weather service side and ramping up pretty quickly that morning was pretty amazing. That morning, the severe weather threat was upgraded from a one out of five to a three out of five, an enhanced risk calling for damaging wind gusts. Then at 1059 in the morning, that threat was upgraded again to a four out of five or a moderate risk. Then at 1125 in the morning, the Storm Prediction Center issued a rare, particularly dangerous situation, severe thunderstorm watch calling for widespread wind gusts of 100 miles per hour. Then at 1149 in the morning, a severe thunderstorm warning was issued for much of eastern Iowa including the Cedar Rapids Metro, calling for 80 to 90 mile per hour wind gust 40 full minutes before the storm hit around 1230. The problem, how many people actually got that warning? Unlike life-threatening flash flood warnings and tornado warnings that go to your phone automatically, severe thunderstorm warnings do not, particularly due to the large amount of warnings issued every single year. However, there are plans in the works to change that. Wireless Emergency Alerts, or WEA, is the automatic warning system built to alert everyone with a cell phone of critical information. In the case of weather, any cell phone connected to a tower inside of a tornado warning or flash flood warning will get an alert automatically to their phone. The WEA is, uh, is really the big thing because that gets right to everybody's personal device. There is uh, work underway and it, it has to involve uh, not just the National Weather Service, but others that are involved in the uh, delivery of weather information uh, through WIA. Proposed changes include severe thunderstorm warnings going to mobile devices if a storm is considered particularly dangerous with wind gusts of 80 miles per hour or higher. That kind of messaging could allow people trapped outdoors to get to a safer spot ahead of time, like the Johnsons caught during August 10th derecho. We could have went into the house, uh, which is about 100 feet from the shop and, and gotten into the basement. Um, but then again, we just thought it would never happen again at the same location, you know, like lightning striking twice. It never would have thought it would happen. And there's no current time frame for when those alerts may go to your phone automatically, but you can get free alerts to your phone with our weather app. I was news now at WX. You'll get warnings and watches straight to your mobile device, staying ahead of the next storm.